if you like big, tall, lanky dogs, maybe a Bob Barker is for you. Um, named obviously after the late Bob Barker. It's important to remember the importance of spaying and neutering your pets. And if you adopt from us, all of our cats, dogs, and rabbits are spayed or neutered before leaving to go to their forever homes. Um, Bob was actually uh, fairly recently neutered in the last two weeks or so, um, finishing up his recovery process. Um, also important to note, he's a bit of a, a drooler, a little bit of a slobbery guy. Um, he wears it um, proudly. He's okay with it. Um, he is a really fun dog. He knows sit. He knows down. When I first met him, I went into his kennel, and he was just kind of like, mm, like he kind of looked like a sad guy and uh, didn't really do anything, just kind of standing there, giving me sad faces for his pictures. And then I, I came back a little bit later, and he was like, I'm a whole new dog. Yeah. I feel comfortable. I'm happy to be here. Um, he's definitely um, a playful dog. He can be a little loud. His bark can be, he can have a little bit of that Great Dane bark. Um, we have put him down as a Great Dane mix. He's about three to four years old. Um, he does know sit, he knows paw, um, and he listens pretty well. Sometimes when I'm in the kennel, up, you know, somewhere around him taking pictures of other dogs, he gets like, why are you over there? And he's like barking and jumping up. And I'm like, Bob, off. He gets off and then I tell him to sit and he goes and sits. And then I toss him a treat over and he's happy. Um, so he, he is a pretty good listener. He's very treat motivated um, and definitely a, a big playful guy. He's super fun. Um, not many people have looked at him either, which is really surprising because um, he has a cool look to him and he's a little bit different. He's not your standard terrier mix. Um, and a lot of people really like the, the larger breeds. So there's a surefire way to see Bob's playful side. What's that? Correct. And when I was first meeting Bob, I was like, He's just like, just like, I'm just gonna hang out. I'm just gonna, like, I thought he was a super old dude yeah. because he just kind of stood there. And uh, then I play bowed to him. And I don't know that people realize, like, dogs, when they play bow to each other, they're soliciting play. And humans can do that to dogs as well. And uh, when I play bowed to him a little bit, he went crazy. <laughs> he was so excited. Then he started play bowing back to me. He was jumping around, he was playing, and it was a whole different side to him. Um, you know, a lot of, of dogs communicate, cats communicate with their body language, and um, we can mimic some of those things back to them to um, encourage them to play or to make them feel safe when they feel uncomfortable. So um, the more you learn about you know, animal body language, it's a better way for you to communicate with your pet. Um, but if you're, really, if you're like, Bob, I need to get some zoomies out of you before we leave, before we go somewhere, um, giving him a little play bow gets him all riled up and ready to go. Um, and it's definitely a fun side to see to him because he, he looks like a puppy when he does it. He's so excited. Um, so if you are ready to see Bob's fully playful side, um, then definitely book that appointment to meet him by going to visit fcac.as.me.